the more exchanges are performed, the more that we realize that without a mapped out plan before selling the property to be relinquished, your down leg, there are more headaches and anxiety to come. Those of you who have been involved in the exchange before know that no two exchanges are alike because there's too many moving pieces in each case. This coupled with how the very these very exchanges have been known to take on their own personalities means there's no way to cover, discuss uh, all the different ways a trade could go. Now, I can assure you with more education, research, and planning that occurs at the very beginning, such as the moment that you decide to sell your down leg or your property be relinquished, the smoother things will go. Consider this case. Our exchanger sold the property for one and a half million and needs to find a replacement property for the same amount. Many passive investors think they need millions of dollars to perform a successful exchange, which really isn't the case. There's no dollar amount limit on what it is. We've seen them as low as 200 grand. Now, consider why you're exchanging the property in the first place. Is it to get out of a management intensive property or portfolio? Or is it due to deferred maintenance? Or it's just simply to upgrade your leverage and your current equity position into a different property? The simplest option to consider is a fee simple purchase, similar, similar to what you are relinquishing, especially if you're looking to grow your net worth. If it is management related, then an absolute net lease with a nationally branded single tenant is an easy choice for you. The absolute less net lease makes sure the tenant is 100% responsible for the real estate, the building, and all the operating expenses. These assets can be found with brand new construction and brand new long-term leases with strong corporate-backed recession-proof uses, such as fast food, casual restaurants, daycare, drug stores, discount stores, health and medical facilities, gas station convenience stores, and, and many others. Now, another option to consider is a Delaware, Delaware Statutory Trust, or DST, which is also a passive non-management option. However, it is not a real estate transaction, but a security transaction that is completed by a securities licensed broker and requires that the exchanger be an accredited investor. We can dive into those specific option types in any future issues. Now, uh, other options that are not as popular are single family residential rentals, vacation rentals, raw land, farm land, mini storage, oil and gas royalties, ground leases, opportunity zone investments, billboards, cell towers, wind turbines, and many others. Basically, it's, if it's an investment property with income, it should qualify. Other options to consider are how many transactions. With one and a half million, you could easily perform multiple transactions by two or three uh, even four or five properties, uh, which will give you greater diversification on your investment. So that's something else to consider. What about leverage? With one and a half million to spend, it is possible to leverage up to three times, depending on actual cash and credit worthiness, or up to as much as about four and a half million in property, which is the most common strategy used to build significant multi-generational wealth. Now, if you're in need of an experienced commercial real estate broker, I could be reached at 281-222-0433. Uh, appreciate your time and hope you have a good one.